Hi everyone! I hope you will have a wonderful New Year's Eve and a wonderful 2017. Today I would like to go over my 2016 yearly favorites. I'm not going to be doing too much of a um, December favorites because I was working on Project P and stuff for the most part so I did not really rotate through anything and I have not made up my mind yet on too many of my favorites with um, with the exception of one product actually and uh, I'm just going to mention this in January then. For 2016 however I have quite a few favorites that I would like to talk about because I do think they are great products and I would just like to give them a little shout out again at the end of 2016. Um, for starters, I have two foundations with me and it's these two here. I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay a full coverage foundation, mine is in the shade Ivory, as well as the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation, also in the shade okay. Ivory, um, pardon me, Porcelain. I do like both foundations a lot, um, but they do different things to me. The um, Tarte foundation to me is not exactly full coverage, but it's buildable to a full coverage and it also works as a wonderful um, concealer if I just dab it on over the spots I want to um, conceal a bit more and um, it's just an amazing foundation I'm as you can see almost out I don't have a lot left here and that's why I have not been using this too much in the past few months I um, just I would rather keep this for times when I know I need a good foundation than just use it up on a regular basis and um, let me done with it in that case because it's more expensive and I do like this a lot. And then the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation is absolutely wonderful. It is not as full coverage as I would like for it to be. Um, it is probably um, a light to medium coverage but I do like this a lot because it does not cling to my dry spots too much. And at the same time it just does a great job with um, looking good the entire day. And um, unless I have a little bit of an accent with um, maybe too much powder or if I have not uh, moisturized my skin enough, this will really look good for the entire day. <laughs> then I have my Catrice um, Liquid Camouflage here and um, this here is in the shade 05 and I've had, does it have a name? Yeah, I don't think so. This is in the shade 05 and this is um, probably, even for me, a tad bit too light, but only a tiny, tiny bit. The 010 um, is um, dead on for me with my foundation, but um, I wanted to show the 05 because I wanted to see if I could maybe highlight with this a little bit. I don't like an over-highlighted face and an over-highlighted look, so what I do is I just apply this on my under eye area and then I'm good to go, but um, this is wonderful for that. And um, if I'm careful and I don't apply too much and blend it in very well, I can also use this as a normal concealer. Uh, the liquid camouflage for me is amazing, simply because it is high coverage and at the same time, since it's a liquid camouflage, it is easy to blend in and um, you don't need a lot of product, which I do absolutely love. Then I have my NYX uh, blush in the shade Taupe and as you can see, I have just repressed this. It's wonderful to contour with. I would never use it as a blush, but contouring with this, um, now that I've figured out how to do it, is just amazing. I know I used to hate this, and I was all like, I don't get why people like this. And now I do. I totally understand I contoured with this today. I hope you can see this a little bit. It's just wonderful. Um, you need a very light hand with this if you're as pale as I am, but um, this is probably the one contouring shade that I have that works for me. Uh, for a blush, I had to go with an e.l.f. blush, and this is just uh, their normal blushes. This is in the shade Mellow Mauve, and uh, this is it. I love this for winter and fall. This is just amazing, and I don't want this to ever be gone. So please, e.l.f., keep this in your, um, in your product range, because this is just a nice, wonderful color that I absolutely love. And here's a little bit of a swatch, and it just blends in, even for me. It is not too, too dark, but it's just a wonderful blush shade. And for a highlighter, I have a highlighter that I'm panning right now. Um, and you will be able to see a little bit of a sneak peek what's going on here, but this is just a great, great highlighter. 
I just um, can't repeat this often enough. I love this highlighter. It's the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection highlighter in the shade Rose Champagne Glow. And this is it. As you can see, there's not a lot left here. I have hit quite a bit of pan with this one already and it's very low. I suspect I'll be done by the end of the project this is in, but I'm not 100% sure. And even if I'm not, I'm not going to be too sad about this because this is just an amazing highlighter that is not too bam, too in your face. It's very subtle, but it still gives a little bit of a sheen. I hope you can see this. So I apply this right here and I'm very light handed with this because I just like this so much. This is also one of these products that once I'm done I'll repurchase and um, kind of goes against the theory and the idea of Project Pan, but I need this again. And then I have a uh, mascara that I just need to mention. It's the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And as you can see, this is just a travel size. This is not the full size. But this here see has a bigger, blacker, blacker batter. And I can attest to that. Unfortunately, mine is so dry that um, the bristles here, they keep sticking together when I just pull this out. But this wand is amazing. I absolutely love this wand. It is the kind of wand that I like. I'm currently, um, I pulled out a mascara from my stash and it's, I didn't know this, but it has rubber bristles and I hate rubber bristles. I constantly poke myself in the eye with, with I don't think they do a good job with the total um, mascara application. My lashes look like they're um, like very, very few lashes and super ugly and not a lot of um, volume there and not even length. So I don't know what the heck they're supposed to be doing, but they're not doing anything for me. And then here comes Urban Decay Perversion and this is an amazing mascara. I have kept this, uh, it's been empty for three months now if I'm not mistaken. And I keep this because I have a um, video planned um, comparing the mascaras I'm trying at the moment. So um, this will come up again. And um, this is hands down my favorite mascara so far. And then I have um, a placeholder. This is the Trended Up Contour and Glide Lip Liner and these are just amazing. I love what they do. They don't look too dry on my lips. They don't dry my lips out. They look amazing and it's just a lip liner and I don't need anything else. And they come in a nice range of um, products. And um, this is just a mauve pink color that I just love. I I can't go without these. I have to find a way to make them. Mom maybe send those to over to me because um, I just love them so much. Uh, the upside is that although I can't get a hold of them easily myself while I'm here, um, they're cruelty free and vegan for the most part. Like most of the slip liners that they have are vegan, so if you are in a DM store, check these out because they are amazing. Uh, Chat It Up, by the way, is also another DM brand, so. I have a thing for DM brands apparently, but I can only recommend them. And then the last product is a product that I um, found out I mentioned like four times in my favorites videos this year, and they're my Vulcan Siphon deodorant creams. This is the current one, as you can see, I've hit pan, and I love this so much. This is the scent Weekender, and um, I've mentioned this particular scent in the past already. Love these, love all of them, and. Um, I'm glad I have a bit of a stash going on because I am not sure I want to try another deodorant because they do such a good job. I do not break out, they're cruelty free, they're vegan, I don't get itchy and the scent of these deodorants stays the entire day. When I apply this morning at the, in the morning at 8 o'clock or even before 8 o'clock, when I get home at like roughly 6 o'clock, I can still smell this. It's still on there. It's not my body odor. It's just this deodorant. And I just love this. It's absolutely amazing. So uh, this was it for my yearly favorites for 2016. I hope you enjoyed this and had a great time watching this. I would love to hear what your favorites are um, because I love trying out new products and I want to do this more in 2017. Which is why I will not be panning too much in 2017. But I will have fun playing with makeup. So... Um, Leave me your um, favorites down in the comment section. I can't wait to read them. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!